theft, in its most basic form, is the act of taking something that doesn't belong to you. It conjures images of a shadowy figure in the night, taking our valuables. But a far more insidious kind of thief exists, one who operates in plain sight, the corrupt politician. However, the impact of theft goes far beyond the immediate loss of an object. Folks, now, we will explore the contrasting consequences of two thieves, the one who steals your valuables, the street thief who targets your possessions and the corrupt politician thief who steals your very future. So let's see, the first thief, the street thief, the one who breaks into your home and takes what you hold dear, your money, the hard-earned cash, cherished jewels, memories, the phone that connects us to loved ones, the phone which contains private and sensitive information, our personal contacts and the car that grants us freedom, is a clear and present danger. The loss and impact is immediate and tangible. The violation of your personal space, the violation of our trust, and the feeling of vulnerability are deeply unsettling and a huge, painful, disruption to our daily lives. However, while painful, this type of theft is often rectifiable and replaceable. Insurance can replace some belongings, and hard work can replace others. While inconvenient, life can be rebuilt after such a theft. The second thief, the corrupt politician, however, operates on a different plane. They, the corrupt politicians, steal the very things that make a life worth living, your happiness, health, education, job, pension, and future, is a far more insidious, criminal. This theft occurs slowly, often through a series of seemingly small policy decisions. The consequences, however, are far-reaching and very often irreversible. A politician who cuts funding for education steals your child's opportunity for a bright future. One who slashes health care budgets steals your access to preventative care and potentially your health itself. Eroding environmental protection steals your clean air and water, and ultimately, your well-being. By neglecting essential services, siphoning funds from health care, and eroding educational opportunities, they rob us of a secure and fulfilling existence. Folks, these corrupt politicians are behind the formation, of the private banking cartel, called the Federal Reserve, the psychopath, capitalist, criminal bankers, monopoly of the whole nation's money supply, yes folks, that's, why we are plagued, for generations, of interest rates, sadly, paying, every time, we purchase something. Also, folks, corrupt politicians, are behind all the, 200 wars, after the Second World War, which officially ended, on September 2, 1945, they instigated and decided to send, innocent people to their, illegal, wars and let's not forget, corrupt politicians also decided that criminal illegal conflagration, we the working class have to fight and pay for it. Folks, the IRS and taxes were for the war against Germany, that war, ended, on September 2, 1945, so why do we still have an IRS and why do we pay taxes, after that? Let's now put the cherry on top, corrupt politicians, and also allow the money to be created by trillions, from nothing, from thin air, then I ask again, why do we pay taxes? Impoverishing us, they create a slow genocide, because, folks, poverty and lack of resources it is a slow mass murder. This theft isn't just about the here and now, it extends to the future they are stealing as well. The street thief chooses his victim. We walk a dark alley, and leave our belongings unattended, moments of lapse in judgment that create opportunity. The first thief imposes a clear and immediate hardship, forcing you to react. The political thief, however, is one we choose the second thief lulls you into a false sense of security, eroding your quality of life bit by bit. We entrust them with the power to shape our society, a power they can wield for good or for personal gain. When we elect those who prioritize self-interest over the well-being of the people they serve, we become complicit in the theft of our own futures. By the time you realize the full extent of the theft, it may be too late to recover. 
The stolen job, the depleted pension, the crumbling infrastructure, these are the consequences of unchecked political avarice. They rob us of financial security, a comfortable retirement, and a sense of stability. This creates a cycle of despair, further limiting opportunities and perpetuating the theft from generation to generation. The first thief, the street thief, is a criminal, someone you can point your finger at and hold accountable, readily identified and apprehended, the second thief, the political thief often operates with impunity, wears a mask of authority, cloaking their actions in the guise of progress or necessity. This makes them far more difficult to combat. The stolen car leaves skid marks, missing jewels a broken window. The politician's theft, however, is often a slow, insidious process, the ill effects accumulating over time. Recognizing this hidden robbery and holding those in power accountable is crucial to stopping it. In conclusion, both thieves steal from you, but in vastly different ways. We must be vigilant against both the thief in the night, who is aiming at your possessions, the immediate impact of the first thief is greater and the thief in the suit, who is aiming for your life energy and takes your future, the long-term consequences of the second thief are far more devastating and we must seriously take precautions against the former, and we must seriously and actively engage in the democratic process to guard against the latter. Let us not be fooled by empty promises. Let us demand transparency and accountability from those who seek our trust. Only then can we break the cycle of theft and build a future where happiness, health, and opportunity are not stolen privileges, but rights enjoyed by all. I would like to leave you, with two solutions for corrupt politicians, zero tolerance, if corrupt, end of the term immediately. Officially we have a constitution, let's apply it, second let's take away their source of crime, the money, we need fair tax, that will help us, the working class, to have full control over our hard-earned money, so finally we can be in charge of our income. Please, tell me what you think, and how you feel about this issue. Analyze it, brainstorm it, debate it and if you like it, share it. Thank you for watching, I truly and highly appreciate you, and God bless you.